of the Ukrainian military launching attacks on local militia near the site of the Malaysian plane crash. The fighting is uh, preventing international teams from reaching the scene. The army is believed to be storming the town of Torres right now, uh, right next to the site of the tragedy. And that is despite Ukraine's president, Poroshenko, ordering a no-combat zone 40 kilometres around the area earlier this week. A team of Australian and Dutch police and experts, as well as European security monitors, are staying in the regional capital, Donetsk, unable to reach the site of the crash. Earlier, local militia agreed for an international police presence at the scene. But so far, teams have had to abandon their plans due to the escalating violence in the area. European security monitors reported the situation on the ground appeared unsafe. The security situation at the moment on the way to the site we plan to go today and on the site itself appears to be not safe. We will not risk our uh, unarmed civilian observer mission to deploy to a site where we can't control the risk to a degree where we are confident that we have it at the level where it is acceptable. The Netherlands, from where the ill-fated MH17 flight departed, was the hardest hit by the tragedy. The planes carrying the bodies recovered from the scene have been arriving there throughout the week. The first victim from the disaster has been identified, a Dutch citizen. A team of 200 forensic experts say that it could take months for all of the victims to be identified. 